It's like a point and click adventure game with like action seek. Um, <laughs> please go away. Look, I'm hiding. You can't even see me. What the heck are you supposed to be, Jason Voorhees or what? What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Jory. I'm your host, the bird, my name is Falcon. Now this right here is going to be a free for download alpha demo of Jory. I will have a link in the description down below in case you want to check it out for yourselves. I definitely encourage you to do so. This is honestly a very cool looking throwback to a 90s point and click adventure game. Thriller oriented, I guess one could say. Um, the premise behind it seems to be that you awaken in a cabin in a very cold environment and apparently a girl there knows you, but you only communicated with her on the phone? And she seems to be very elusive about your being there, especially being there tied up. So, that's all I really read about it, and the game actually looked very cool. So let's get in here and check it out and see what this is all about. That's very eerie. It seems to have like a really good looking foundation to it that it would be a very big shame if it doesn't get, you know, actually developed and becomes a full game, you know? Obviously well beyond a triple title game. But a really cool, like, small little indie release here, that would be very cool. So now those mannequins are just gone. Phone's ringing. And if you know me, you know I love my pixel art, right? Yes, part of the reason why I was intrigued by this was indeed the pixel art. My head hurts so bad. It feels like everything fell apart. Chapter 1 from the Dark Past. Okay, so apparently we have to... Finagle ourselves out of the situation here. Seems like a very easy way to get out of a tied up chair situation. How terrible would it be if you fall over and you actually get out and you're now stuck on your side in that position? Not that good. Now, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm digging the art style so much and it kind of has that whole 90s point and click adventure game. So if you're into that, I think you'll really enjoy this. So let's see, that phone was ringing. Is it still possibly ringing? I mean, it's not ringing anymore, but is there, like, any sort of thing I could do with this? There's no dial tone. Apparently not. What do we got down here? Uh, huh? Okay. So, probably keep an eye out for a note somewhere to combination for that. Noted. And can I get out of here? It's locked. Can't do it. So it seems you can interact with whatever it lights up in red. And that's about it, so... Oh. Well, it's not light up in red, that's... Hide out. Oh, so you gotta hide for- Oh, for real? You, if you can hide in this game, it reminds me a lot of, um, Clock Tower. I'll talk to you about Clock Tower soon. Who are you? It's me, Jory. Jory? Your voice sounds so young. How old are you? I am just a child. Don't you remember me? I can't remember anything. And yet you're back. I don't even know where I am. Why was I tied up here? I had a dream last night. You were coming to get me. I asked you a question. I need to understand. Did you come back to help me? Okay, she keeps eluding my question, obviously. I'll do my best. I don't intend to help you. I don't know yet. I, I honestly don't know yet. I'm not even not sure what's happening. I don't even know who you are. You'll come to remember it. I need your help. I need help more than you do. I was tied up, and I'm still locked up in this room. I knew you'd let me down. W what are you talking about? I don't understand. It's like this nightmare never ends. Be careful, it's dangerous over here. She doesn't want to answer anything I like throw at her. She's just like being very vague about everything. I'm not afraid, I'm worried, I don't trust you. I really don't trust this girl. I didn't choose to be here and I don't like the way you talk to me. Why don't you trust me? I can't trust anyone until I know what's going on. You can't run away forever. You'll have to face your responsibilities. Stop playing with me. Hello? Oh, she's gone now. Apparently I have an autosave too. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, um, well, let's, let's probably hide, huh? So that was... As I was saying, this reminds me of, it's, it's like a point-and-click adventure game with, like, action seek. Um, <laughs> please go away. Look, I'm hiding, you can't even see me. What the heck, are you supposed to be Jason Voorhees or what? With a chainsaw. You know what, I feel like Jason Voorhees and a chainsaw didn't really get exploited as much as it should've. Like, I feel like he always, like, you know, we always had the machete. But I feel like Jason Voorhees with a, with a chainsaw, we didn't see enough of that. So I was gonna say, though, before this guy kind of scared me a little bit here, I guess we could probably leave now. Um, if it's a point-and-click adventure game with action sequences like that, it's very reminiscent to Clock Tower. And Clock Tower, I'm, I'm not sure what it's doing nowadays, the series is. What is this place? Everything's so cold. And apparently I picked up a thermal status of some kind. Alright. Um, but um, Clock Tower started off in the Super Nintendo and also in the PS1 and, and PS1. And I guess it had like a PS2 release of some kind and who knows what happened afterwards. But it used to be very like, it's, as a matter of fact, it used to be very point and click action sequence horror game for the, the Super Nintendo and the PS1, which is the ones I played. So that reminds me a lot of that, which was a really, really fun game. Really difficult to get by, but... Really, really dark and grim. And I'm kind of getting a vibe from that here, too. So we do have a health and stamina meter, too. So I guess we could probably run. It doesn't work. Double click? Yeah. So we could run with double clicking. Perfect. So I guess we should probably keep an eye on what it can interact with here. Like this, um, clock. And again, more than likely, unless we actually have a clue for that, that would be just like, you know, fighting a needle in a haystack. So we'll just continue. I'm loving the design, though. It's kind of really intriguing how we have, like, this kind of, like, eye looking at her. Like, you see how all this is blanked out? But I'm digging the art design. Very, very cool. Alright, so I have another door here. Let's check this one out. I must find a switch. Well, luckily I could see it right over here. And here we are. <laughs> yeah, I noticed the, the, the random turkey on the table over there. Well, I guess that... That just moved. I swear I just saw this turkey move. You're not the only one, I'm pretty... It looks like there's something alive inside. Uh, can we leave or move away from that then? What the hell? Okay, alright. That's gross. Yeah, no kidding. How about terrifying too? What's this over here levitating? Use your weapon. Hold down the right mouse button to aim, release the button to shoot, or press the left button to cancel the shot. Oh. How about that? So we have a weapon of some kind. It doesn't look like a conventional firearm to me, though. That looked very intriguing, especially coming out of a... a turkey. And what the heck is this, my ammo? Is that a toot? What the heck is that over there? It looks like a toot, doesn't it? Hello? I hate this place. I was stuck for... I was stuck there for hours. Jory? Strange things happens here. I was locked up here to do my homework, but it didn't always work out. What are you talking about? I like reading stories, but I hate math. Do you like mathematics? <laughs> actually, I, I don't. I, I hate. Uh, I, I, was, I didn't really hate it, I just was kind of good at it if I actually applied myself, which I guess is, anybody could say that. I was good if I applied myself, but I just really actually hated it. But for the premise of the game, I'll say, I loved it! Yes, I love it. It's an exciting discipline. It's too difficult and it's useless. Can you tell me what's going on here? I guess it doesn't really matter what I chose anyway, huh? A turkey just exploded in my face. A strange weapon came out floating in the air. That's the only way to defeat the monsters. Are you talking about the crazy guy with the chainsaw? I'm talking about those who live in the cold. They appear in the fog, since the boiler broke down. Like, how elusive this girl is makes this a lot more creepier to me. Um, what, what do they want from me? Or you're talking nonsense. I mean, what do they want from me? I don't like this whole monster thing at all. What do, you, what do they want from me? You've got to repair the boiler. It's the only way to destroy them. They'll try to stop you, though. 
You've got to resist them. I want to wake up from this nightmare. You have no choice. You have to face them to escape. I don't know how to fight. I'll manage without you. I don't really need advice from a child. You don't even know how to defend yourself. It takes more than a bunch of imaginary monsters to scare me. I just wanted to warn you. I hate this girl a lot. Huh, Radman? Oh, I can interact with Radman. Radman, what's your deal? Oh. I got more I got more teeth from the rat. Alright. So is that all we can do here? No diatone? Yep. Seems to be that is all. Alright. But back out we go. So there's gonna be monsters here apparently or what? Another rat over here. How do I aim? Okay, so I aim this way. Alright, that's cool. And you cancel out with left. Gotcha. Excuse me, my friend. What the hell are the teeth for? Is that like the ammunition? I shoot teeth at the monsters? Well, that's neat. Okay. Oh, stop. You don't really look too human to me. Headshot? Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, God, he's still alive. Was that a Zambro? I'm not sure that was a Zambro now, but three hot sh hit three headshots brought him down, so that's fine by me. And that rat's just roaming around again. What is this rat's problem? What is he doing? He's roaming around? Ah, oh, whatever. So... I guess down we go, up we go. Where are we going? Well, I came from below, so I guess below we're going. Well, at least I got a gun. It doesn't seem like those guys are too terrifying to really fight, so, I mean, unless I find to run into the chainsaw guy. Different story altogether then. So here's the boiler room she talked about, so that's good to see. And if we fix this, the monsters won't be a problem anymore. We have interactable points here. Something is missing here. Uh-huh. There is a screw thread. Okay. Missing. Gotcha. I'm seeing a pattern here. Yep. Can I put shovel in there or what? Or can I shovel coal in there? I have to fix the boiler first. Alrighty, swell. Well then. Is there anything here? There's a book here. Three shovels of coal for 12 minutes of heating. And that's it? Alright, what about you? I just can't do it. Can't do what? Device is blocked. Oh. So there's, like, nothing to do here? Alright. Okay. So, the only things I'm thinking about right now that we can interact with is good. Oh, jeez. It's going to be, like, we have the clock that I apparently I don't know the time for. And there's also the, the cabinet back, or not the cabinet, but the, the suitcase back where we started. Because everything else over here, there's no interactable. This is probably just to hide, more than likely. Yeah, I'm seeing nothing to interact with here. So, more than likely... Ooh, boy. You're dark again, too. Oh, turn that light on. Turn that light on. Just get away from me. Um, please, please shoot. Or, I guess that guy's not coming after me. We'll take care of you first. Okay. Like, the shooter reminds me a lot of, like, um... I forget the name of it, it's a Super Nintendo game, I believe it's an arcade game too, but it was like Outlaws or something. Like, it's like a wild western game and you're running upwards, and you're you're shooting like, you know, all sorts of like cowboys and Indians and stuff like that. I forget the name of it, it's like Outlaws something? Outlaw Star? That's an anime, I think. I don't know, it's a, it's a really cool, awesome Super Nintendo game. I think it was like for the arcades too. Um, so let me get some more ammo from you. Now the problem is gonna be this here, I, there hasn't been any clues that I've found though to like give me an idea how to open this bad boy up. Alrighty, guys, so I'm not gonna lie to you, I... I'm gonna cut a lot of what I did off, because I was just wandering around back and forth, back and forth. There is absolutely no clue as to how you're supposed to open this bad boy up. At least that I looked around, I looked everywhere, back and forth, couldn't figure it out. Um, and then I just started to... mess around with the suitcase and randomly put numbers in, and eventually it popped open. And apparently I got a, a wrench for that, so... I, I don't know... Where you get the code? 
no idea where. I looked everywhere. I basically spent like at least 15, 20 minutes just roaming around, which is the reason why I decided to cut all that off, because that's going to be very boring. Let's get this zombie out of the way, please. That way, okay. Um, yeah, I went up and down. There's only like limited areas in the demo, right? So there's this hallway, there is the boiler room, and the other room where we got the, the gun from, right? Could not figure out how you get this freaking code. And there's also the... The clock puzzle too, which there's no clue for that either. So more than likely, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just not implemented in the game yet. Just because it's a demo, it's mostly just like a... See how it runs type of demo. But I couldn't figure it out, so I just started smashing numbers and eventually something works, so there you have it. I got the wrench now, which more than likely means I should be able to probably get the vice open from the boiler room. So let's just go down there now before I go crazy, because, okay, it's now apparently talking to me in some sort of foreign language. Hey, hey, yeah? Who's Ru? Okay, I think I'm going down. You see, that's weird. Now it's giving me an option to choose what floor I want to go to when that was not the case before. And the only thing I've done is just I popped that suitcase open and now suddenly I can choose the floor I want to go to. That's very intriguing, but all right, so be it. Let's um pop this vice open with the wrench then. I guess we'll just drag it over. That's what's up. Something apparently fell. Oh, the valve, yeah, exactly. All right, cool. I should shovel coal into the boiler. Right, okay, so we've now opened that up and there's now a timer down here too. So apparently three minutes gave us 12 or three shovels gave us 12 minutes, right? Yeah, each one gives you four. And now the thermostat's going high up, so we're gonna be really nice and toasty going forward. And this is supposed to keep the monsters away, according to Jory, if you wanna believe her or not. All right, so now we have a new area. But as you can see, it's cold here. Kill them all, what, what's happening? Is it like a Metallica album suddenly or what? Panic? What panic? I'm like fairly confused about what's happening here, but... We're just randomly killing these Zambros now? There's like a panic meter down below too, for some reason or another. Oh good, chainsaw. Um, I'm like out of bullets. I got five more. Boop, boop, boop. Are you going back to your hole? I need some ammo, dude. Thank you, sir. Probably shouldn't have pissed that chainsaw guy off, huh? The question is, can I even kill him or is he going to like pester me the entire level? Ooh, good miss. Oh, he's dead, baby. Level 2 success. 10 monsters killed, 25 seconds remaining, 83% precision. Gain 20,750 UEK? I have no idea what that means, but sure. Anyway, <laughs> as I was trying to say before I get interrupted here, it's cold here because we don't we haven't heat this up. It's only the first floor that we heat up, but there's nothing else to do in the first floor to my understanding, so limit of the demo. Oh, have we hit the end of the demo? Oh, that's unfortunate. I was actually really getting into this too. Oh, this, uh, this might be it. Yeah, well, there was another door over here too, if I'm right. Uh, let's see if there's anything I can interact with. Please open up. Limit of the demo. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, something happened. What's going on? I feel dizzy. Jory, why aren't you doing your homework? I, I just can't do it. Put that book down and go back to your seat. Still dra daydreaming about these stupid tales. How am I supposed to solve this problem? It's simple. I already explained it a hundred times to you. Decimals must be converted into minutes. Yes, I know, but it's difficult. 
Knowledge and understanding are two different things. You're not, go you're not getting out of here until you find the result. I just meant to help you prepare my... I just meant to help you prepare my cake. Hurry up and finish it before the clock rings. That's probably a hint for the clock thing outside, huh? That's the most converted into minutes. Chapter 2, Buried by Time and Dust. Well, she was messing around over here, right? There was possibly something for us here. Hurry to recover the lost teeth of monsters. Oh, how cute. That's what we've kind of been doing to kill these monsters, allegedly. And interactable here. A train leaves at... The ink's washed off. Huh. Okay. Well, either way, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Jory, still being developed, so it's not complete just yet. I have a link down below. Download it for yourself. There's probably a little bit more to do for this um, demo. So if you want to check it out for free, do a bit more. Go for it. Let me know what you find. I will catch you next time.